Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are taking a look at what cycles you are detaching from, which cycles you've let go of, stepping out of, um, you've kind of done the work and evolved from. That's what we're taking a look at today. Kind of like the debris that you're finally letting go of and what's been removed because we move in cycles, we move in, um, we heal in cycles. Um, and when that kind of comes to an end, we, we move on. So that's what we're taking a look at. Um, just at the debris around and, and what you've finally learned the lesson of. Um, before I get into the reading as well, um, I just wanted to basically explain it because I know there'll probably be a few questions and concerns. If you see my hand and it's got, you know, the scars on it, um, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. It's kind of a uh, thing out now, but I just wanted to mention it just in case anyone's like, what? WTF? What the F? Um, I just wanted to mention it. So if you don't care, skip a minute forward. But um, basically, Luna, I think she thought I was putting her outside because um, I was taking her out of my conservatory so she didn't get stuck um, in the conservatory all night and you have to go outside through the conservatory and when I was picking her up I think she thought I was putting her outside and she's petrified of the outside world <laughs> and um, she got a bit frightened and kind of cut me up while she was trying to break free um, and run away <laughs> so that is what the mark is so don't worry it's it's literally healing and it's fine um, so yeah, let's get into your reading. So I have three piles for you guys to choose from. Pile number one is the Hello Kitty cup, uh, egg cup. Pile number two is the cat mug and pile number three is the Hello Kitty hair clip. So see which one you're drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and I'll see you guys at your timestamps. Hey Palawan, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what cycles you are stepping out of and moving on from. So you guys chose the Hello Kitty Egg Cup. I'm going to start with Tarot and we'll move on to your Oracle card. So Pile 1, please Spirit Guides. Pile 1. What cycles am I Pile Number 1's uh, letting go of, moving on from? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. What cycles are my pile number ones? We have the Page of Cups. The back of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Um, straight away, I feel like you guys have activated like an energy of independence. Um, that was the first thing that I felt when I was um, tapping into you guys' energy. Like I almost feel from the before energy, so this is a cycle you're stepping out of, um, even though I feel you've always been, because I'm, I'm looking at your core and I feel like you guys are leaders, right? I feel like you guys are very unique and very, um, very creative and I, I feel like you're very innovative. That's what I want to say. I don't know if it's maybe a trauma response and something that you've been clearing, but I almost feel like in the past there may have been an energy where um, I almost feel like I'm waiting for somebody. Like I'm... I, I'm kind of like in limbo waiting for somebody to give me the get go, if that makes sense, or to green light something. Uh, that's kind of like how I feel, like the scenario that I'm being shown, it's almost like I want to go out to eat or I want to go do these things and I'm like waiting for people around me to decide that they want to do it too. Or I would love to go travel here or I would love to go to this retreat or I would love to, you know, try out this style and it's almost like I'm waiting for maybe like someone to tell me it's okay almost but this feels like a trauma response because then it's like me just by myself I want to do these things I am innovative I am creative like there, there are these parts of me but I almost feel like sometimes in the past you would have felt this feeling of how can I have the audacity to do that or who am I to show up like that or how am, who am I to say those things or to do those things by myself like that's kind of how I feel it's like I, I'm almost waiting for people to pick at me and tell me I'm incapable um, or that I shouldn't be doing these things or to laugh at me or to pick me apart. And the thing is about you, I feel like you naturally are able to be a bit of a lone wolf and just do your own thing. I feel like you guys naturally are one of those people that probably do go against the crowd. Um, but I almost feel like at times in the past, you might have waited for somebody to green light that, um, to green light, you know, even even 
as like like as deep as an experience that maybe you've had like you know having gone through something maybe traumatic or gone through something hard it's almost like i'm kind of beating myself up and telling myself um that it wasn't that bad or i'm like waiting for people to maybe i know it was bad but i'm waiting for people to tell me that it wasn't that bad because then it gives me permission to grieve it whereas before i would have just sucked it up and just kind of carried on with it because that's what i thought people would have you know expected me to do just kind of like get over it but then when people are like that was horrible then it would have given me permission to do that i almost feel like i'm waiting for permission to do something or i'm waiting for a green light or somebody to cheerlead something that i'm doing in order for me to like fully go and do it because there's there's a fear around it and maybe some of you guys would still do it amongst that fear but it, you would still be riddled with it so you guys could have kept with that innovative energy and and done things against the grain but in doing it it still would have been doused in fear you still would have been waiting for people to maybe project and maybe some people might have even warped your own sense of what you were doing by projecting onto you and instead of standing in no this is what I wanted to do or this is something that I'm saying or this is something that I'm wearing or this is what I want to do with my life I feel like at times what you were doing might have got swayed by the opinions of others because I kind of feel like I'm turning in on myself and I'm kind of asking myself um you know should I really be doing this were they right were they, were they not um and then I feel like I'm kind of folding at times or I'm kind of building up barriers in a way or I'm slowing down my energy so it's like I'm I'm uh like I feel like how do I make this make sense like you know when you have a sponge and they have all the little holes in it I'm being trying to sponge with no holes and it's all just like one unit if that makes sense and every time somebody's like poking at me and prodding at me I feel like it's creating a hole in that sponge because it's creating a hole in that energy where it's like I'm tailoring myself to something or I'm putting up a building block or I'm putting up a notice sign so that people don't misinterpret it, it like this people don't misinterpret it like this so it's like I'm I'm still doing what I need to do but I'm sh shaping it in a way where people aren't you know poking at me projecting taking it t taking away from me um that's what I feel like I'm doing um with this energy and I feel like that cycle has come to an end because what I do see for you guys is I keep being shown the temperance card in my mind's eye like I'm filling up my own cup and I feel like you guys have really been focusing on because I see somebody crafting like I'm being shown somebody with like tools in front of them and I'm kind of crafting something so I feel like you guys have it could be like crafting a self-concept it could be crafting you know a career path for yourself it could be crafting a style for yourself you know if we're going to take it from a light perspective it could be crafting you know what it is that you want to do or what you choose to you know you choose to believe at your core I feel like you've been really crafting and cementing and rooting that in so that when people try to sway that or people try to you know project on that I feel like you guys um really stand firm you know what I mean I feel like that's something you've been working on and I see that cycle then closing up in terms of I see you even more independent but it's more like carefree I think you've always been a forward thinker I think you've always been somebody that thought and looked at things differently but I see you really doing that in a really open space and not kind of like waiting for someone to come along and, and try and trash it and then you have to change it or waiting for somebody to green light it like if they think it's okay then it's okay it's like no I'm gonna do this because this is what I want to do I'm gonna do this because I'm I'm drawn to doing this this is what I want and I see like a lot of energy then flow and then there's less resistance and there's more authenticity because you're just being true to yourself and again you understand people are gonna project onto anything people are, you can say the most you know balanced statement and somebody could look at it in the most negative way and somebody could even take it into like too much of a positive way that people are always looking at things through different spectrums so people are always gonna have a problem with something right we just got to deal with that but as long as we know at our core you know what I mean what what we mean and what we're doing and as long as we're not hurting anyone and we're just doing what's best for us then you know that's our thing and I feel like that's something that's a cycle that you're letting go of is not only just because it feels two in one it's it's for, and it could be just some for some of you some for the others but it could also be both tied together and that is one the projections of other people making you feel like you have to falter at times and and change the way you're doing things and make yourself smaller or you know maybe you have to you know give an explanation I'm wearing these shoes today because of this or I'm 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 doing this work because I want to do this it's like no that's what I wanted to do that's just because I want to if, if you want to project and say that I'm doing it because X, Y, and Z be my guest it's you weren't there in the creative process but then the other part of it the second part of it then it's almost like I go to do these things 
I go to make a statement or I go to be loud or I go to say this thing and then I wait back because I'm waiting for somebody to kind of give me the get go because in my mind that makes me feel safe to do that you know what I mean it's like I'm I'm used to people kind of like projecting and putting that down and I, I feel like you guys have kind of snatched your power back and have really been building on that and I feel like that is where um I see you guys really grow in so that cycle of you know feeling the need to wait and it's could be as simple as like i said waiting for people around you to decide to go and travel to that place with you or waiting for people around you to go for that meal that you always wanted to try it's like you know what? i'm just gonna do it myself i'm gonna do it by myself and i feel you know very centered in that um i i feel like doing that i think you're also open in space for like-minded individuals because then it's like all right if you don't want to do it i'm going to do it myself you know if you don't want to start the gym with me fine I, I, I you know i was going to wait for a partner but it's fine i'm just going to go to the gym by myself because it's just what I want to do and then you go to the gym and you meet like-minded individuals who are also at the gym and you make you know new friendships and new connections and I do see a lot of spaces there where you're making connections with like-minded individuals um because you're getting you're listening to your intuition and you get into the right places at the right time and I feel like you're not then being held back at times as well um so I see a lot of that there's a level of independence that you've activated a level of confidence and, and self self-will and self-worth that you guys have um, really activated within yourself that's kind of pushed out you know where other people's projections may have been at one point you've really cleared that um, which probably was quite heavy at times you probably went through a phase where you felt a little insecure or you were really struggling with that um, I tend to find if I'm clearing something or I'm clearing something heavy um, people will really start to poke at it it's almost like you know the darker energies out there or the lower energies out there they know that i'm clearing that they know that i'm gaining a piece of my power and they'll almost like influence or send people to kind of poke in the exact area i've noticed that happen that could have been happening for you guys as well um where people overstepping your boundaries are really putting you down for like things that you like um because i just think you you guys are very creative i think you're very forward thinking i think you're, you're very innovative i think that you are quite free spirited in nature naturally and i think you've been kind of letting go of the restraints that were really anchoring you into what probably felt like a small fishbowl when you were kind of growing as a fish if that makes sense you were meant to be in the sea with the sharks and it, you probably felt like you were just in a tadpole waiting for people to join you in the sea and i feel like you're just joining in the sea now and meeting the other sharks i feel like that's the phase you're entering um so yeah there's been a lot of growth that i can i can see so pile number one please for guides pile number one what cycle are my pile number ones stepping out of what else can you tell me about the cycle um, that my pile number ones have released we have raising winds magical release calling intention strongholds i'm going to do two of them i think pile number one it's quite um high up let me move that down so you can see sorry i'm knocking it all about pile number one please spirit guides pile number one what else can you tell me um vervain everlasting spellbound soul alignment release and protection and the back of the deck you have drawing down the moon divine feminine souls channel stillness yeah i feel like this is also going to help um not only with just your own intuition and you just really flow in in ways that make you feel like you're in alignment but this probably will also help with your own psychic ability to sue if that's something that you have been working on whether you already work with your psychic abilities or not if you already work with them i see them breaking even further i see a deeper connection or i see even new gifts breaking um for others of you uh, I feel like there may be gifts that just break because it's like I'm listening to myself so naturally when we listen to ourselves and we give space to that you know if, let's say we're class sentience we're naturally going to feel other people's feelings and then we're gonna accept no this is what I'm feeling I can feel it and you can act on it then and the more you act on it the stronger it gets same with intuition same with clairvoyancy clairaudience you know all of all of the gifts um we start to feel more connected to them then you know so um we start to work with them more so i feel like that is something that um can also start um getting stronger for you as well as you as you listen to that i feel very like moana going across the sea i feel very like independent and kind of like i know where i meant to head i know what i like like i feel i'm kind of building the ego in a way and nothing's kind of like holding me back now there's no wounds kind of holding me back I've, I've cleared them all um and with raising winds I don't know why that's making me think of like the change of the wind because I feel like this is going to 
um, put you onto a path where um, because that energy within that maybe you had, had to keep bottled at times or you had to tailor at times, it stopped you from shining out in, in, in your highest frequency um, of yourself, like showing all the colours. I'm thinking of like a peacock. I thought it was the wings versus the tail that fans out, um, but I'm thinking of a peacock with, you know, the colours and the feathers. It's like only some of them are showing because I feel like I have to tailor because what if somebody takes offence to the colour blue or takes offence to the colour indigo, you know, whatever colour. So it's like I, I'm tailoring it, whereas now all of the colours are out and now it's like all the all the other peacocks like, oh, there's a peacock over there. And I'm like, oh, that's my, that, that's my peacocks. And then we're all peacocking together. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but you know what I mean? We're all kind of just, you know, chilling out as peacocks together. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, there's a change in the wind there, I feel. Um, <laughs> that is really funny. That's just made me um, laugh. And then spellbound, soul alignment, release and protection. I think that in your earlier life, I think... Um, I think you've always been quite eccentric and quite open and I think you've had really cool ways of looking at things and I feel like at times people that might have boxed their opinions in or did not look at things in the same way, I think they might have really tried to box you in and um, maybe quiet your voice or um, morph you into something that was a bit more fitting, if that makes sense for them to understand. And I think you're, you're, you're really breaking out of that, which is really, really beautiful. Yeah, so um, that's what I have for you, pal number one. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. Sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully um, I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what cycle you are moving out of and letting go of. So you guys chose the cat cup. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. Pile two, please, spirit guides. What cycle am I pile number two stepping out of? What cycle am I pile number twos uh, stepping out of? Pile number twos. Pile two, please, spirit guides. What cycle am I pile number two? We have the five of swords. Pile number... Pile number two. What cycle am I pile number two stepping out of? We have the ace of cups. We have the three of cups. What cycle am I pile number two stepping out of? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And uh, the back of the deck is the Empress. I think I'm going to have to cover her. Let me grab a crystal. Um, okay. It's a bit big, but we'll use it. We have the Empress at the back of the deck. Okay. Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, for those of you that are single, I feel like your taste in people, like romantic partners, has really changed. Um, not just like, it could have changed in looks, but it doesn't have to have. It It, it more so is, is more of an energy thing um, and a, an emotional thing, but again, it could also correlate to looks as well um and for those of you that are already in a relationship i just feel like this is just people that you're drawn to in, in friendships and you know partnerships and um what are they called i've forgotten it when you make colleagues that's it co-workers <laughs> i was gonna say friends at work um but yeah i almost feel like that's changed because honestly when i'm tapping into you guys i think that there has been a very big clear out of the heart space um the heart chakra feels like it's been active uh and i'm being shown like a flush you know like a really big flush where all the gunk and everything's kind of flowing out and i'm sure that would have been really really hard um for you guys as well or quite painful um because i'm being shown a lot of realizations that you've had to really make and um you really had to look things in the eye i'm being told and really chip away at things that um maybe have been ingrained since you know from, from past lives have been ingrained since your earlier life and almost like changed those concepts and let go of them like this is not right and that takes a lot of accountability of self so you guys have really done a lot of work this is like really beautiful work that i'm seeing and it's 
And because of that, I'm being shown a massive tidal wave in terms of a clearing um, that has happened in your emotional center and in your heart space. And I think in the past, I think maybe you were stuck in loops or you were stuck um because i i kind of feel like i feel abandoned or i feel like i'm just not receiving what i deserve out of my um out of my connections i don't feel like i'm getting back what what i what i truly desire i don't feel like i'm being heard i don't feel like i'm being seen um it's almost like people are kind of like projecting onto me they're not seeing me that's kind of like what i feel um or people are maybe um drawn to me maybe for like healing energies or something that i have but then then you know it, as far as like a connection then it I kind of feel imbalanced and I feel like you guys were drawn to people in the past um for some of you guys it could have been you know broken birds um people that needed healing and I tend to find with anyone that is a healer or here to you know heal in any way um I tend to find that people like that are drawn to broken birds because sometimes we can muddle a connection and somebody that needs help we can kind of muddle the two because we naturally want to help and we want to pour into people um and sometimes we forget like actually connections while we do balance each other out and look out for each other it's not just meant to be me healing that person and that's it i will get drained and we forget that we don't even realize that especially when we're younger with relationships and i feel like you guys have been really putting that to bed um and really understanding how sacred your own energy is sac uh, how sacred your heart space is i think you guys are really like real lovers i think you guys really pour into people i think you really see people and i think you guys are quite soft at heart i think you are, you might even have a hard shell um in terms of like really really um you know building up certain boundaries over certain experiences or really going through some you know some harsh situations but i feel like at your core I, I see such a sensitivity some of you guys may have venus and pisces that just got shown to me in my mind's eye um but it, it doesn't matter if you if you do or you don't or there could be like aspects with venus and neptune it's just something that i'm uh picking it up on but i i feel like you guys are quite sensitive there and i feel like you guys really connect to people really emotionally and i think at times i i'm being shown then like chippings within that so i'm being shown your heart center think of it like um a beautiful we'll use the shell because it's the ace of cups we'll use like a beautiful you know green shell and then i'm being shown like little specks of like shards of glass and things kind of like sticking out you know bits of smudgy bits you know just like all over it um and that is to do with I almost feel like I want to get taken to, for some of you guys, maybe the home scenario as well. Um, and I'm kind of looking at like what I would look for in terms of a connection. So while I am this, you know, deep person and I have loads of love to give, um, I would have learned to maybe look for people that are a little bit emotionally unavailable. Maybe it's my inner child trying to... Um, get that person to kind of like point me back because then i'm worthy of love maybe i was learned that i needed to be worthy of love you know um to, to receive it so i have to gain that so i need to make that person turn around and pour into me or maybe again you dealt with people that were like broken birds and you felt like you needed to heal and fix and that was your way of loving because maybe that was something you were taught in childhood this can also pa a parallel to like a past life as well although i tend to find if something's happened in a past life it will usually show up in the next life usually quite earlier on in the childhood I, I tend to find that um so yeah i'm being shown that so there's a specific frequency and a specific energy um and a, a specific type of person i feel like you would have been drawn in and again you may have felt um you were going around in cycles with the same type of people um or maybe with the same person and what i'm actually being shown with your energy is that that feels over um not only that but i feel like where there would have been some scar tissue and where there would have been some pain left over um i kind of feel like that's healing i don't feel like i want the same BS as I had before. I don't feel like I want someone that I have to chase um, or prove myself to in order to receive love. I don't think I want these things. The type of person that I want is, you know, X, Y, and Z. Maybe there's somebody that pulls into me. Maybe there's somebody that's very grounded. Maybe there's somebody that really cares the way I do. I'm looking for somebody that radiates with my heart space. Now I'm more in tune with it. Those chippings are gone. They're not, you know, affecting the way that my heart space operates. Um, now I'm I'm really listening because I'm hearing like a high pitched like opera singing, and it's like the heart space really singing. So it's like now I'm more in tune with what it is that I want. Now this doesn't have to just correlate to relationships this can also correlate to friendships 
friendships and just people you have connections with in general um family members as well i almost feel like this is the type of connection that doesn't really fit for me anymore and it could be a little bit of a bittersweet time you could find that maybe you've outgrown certain people you could find that um you're just not aligning with certain people anymore um you're more aware of your needs so it's like i don't know if this is something that i need i think i need more um or maybe i need to take at least a step back from this sort of connection maybe i was given a lot of this sort of energy and i and i wasn't you know getting much back so maybe there's limits you're putting in with some people other people you may just be feeling like you've kind of outgrown them um but i see a really big change here because i feel really connected to my own inner needs my emotions my own sensitivity and i feel like there's a level of protection then around yourself to really take care of that and know where to give that energy and where not to and again when we are aware of those frequencies within ourselves we're able to access them and see them in other people so i feel like that's also going to help you being drawn to people that are very um very similar to you on the inside i feel like before um you struggle to find people that were similar to you on the inside because of these little chips you know these little bits and i feel like there's been a clear in there um so now you're able to really authentically align with that and i feel with the with the three of cups and the wheel of fortune i think it's also going to affect the way that you just see life then because i see you holding space for you to really experience things in a more beautiful way in a more deep way like maybe before you know the trees were just trees but now that's open to you it's like no 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 i really connect with the trees they feel this way to me or you know what i really connect to you know maybe you've shunned anything connected to your inner child because it was like oh that's silly and that's childish like whatever that's what you were taught right and maybe now you're like no this is something that really means a lot to me like i really need this in my life like it soothes me or it heals me this is something that i like whether it's you know for me it's doctor who right so for you, i don't know what it would be for any of you guys but whatever you know that connects you to your inner child is like no that's a part of me and it means something to me and i want to pour into it it can be as you know as simple as these little things in your everyday life um but I, I also see some of you guys as well um in the past like doing something for someone and then not taking it that seriously and i see you getting upset it's like that means something to me and i feel like in the past you just had to push it down and be like oh it's okay it's okay that's fine like uh, maybe i should have done more maybe I should have given more you almost maybe have blamed yourself and i feel like now i see you stepping into a connection and really putting that boundary in of like this means something to me if i'm doing this for you or if i'm giving this to you like this really means something to me and, and like i appreciate when i get that back or i just would like you to appreciate that like i'm doing this from my heart you know and, and i feel like that is something that you're taking into your connections with you i think that you are really holding space for your sensitivities your depth and your emotions and i think you're going to be meeting like-minded individuals that also hold that same space within themselves and i think you'll also because i keep being shown a phase where you're learning other people's love language um and and, and learning to balance that I, I don't know why i'm being shown that so i do feel like you may be ushering in people um like friends or there may be if you guys are single like a relationship um around the corner because i see you learning love like a love language i'm hearing scissors song love language um she sings talk to me in your love language um show me how to connect to you so th that's what i'm um hearing so i feel like there's something there uh, and with the wheel of fortune then i just feel like it's opening my life up to just to any sort of experience like i really would love to go here because it would mean this to me and i'm really connected here i'm really moving with the heart space i'm very aware that my heart is my compass and anything that just you know anything from the past because i feel like there's a, either one singular connection or it may have been multiple connections but with the same frequency take which one resonates where i feel like i i held so dear like i was holding on to it and there was a lot of pain um and i do feel for some reason there's some sort of like abandonment feeling here or like i feel like i'm not i feel like i'm being taken advantage of or i feel like people are taking pieces of me um they're not really seeing me i feel neglected i feel hurt i feel thrown aside i feel cast aside and as someone or just a, it, it could again be certain experiences where i feel like you thought back to a lot why you know I'm, I'm questioning why whereas now i don't even feel like i need to know why it's like this is my frequency you clearly didn't see it you didn't tap into it it didn't align with you i don't need to know why we don't resonate and i'm moving forward because i deserve better that's what i'm being shown i also feel with the dove um on the card i feel like 
I don't know why I'm picking up some Aphrodite energy. I don't know if you guys have been working with Aphrodite, but there's a connection there. And I am being shown Yamaya as well. Um, so whichever one of those two that, you know, you connect with, I'm just being shown um, that, as I say, that Shiva pops up in my mind's eye. So this could be guides and deities that you guys have um, worked with or, or maybe around you, helping you um, as well. It, it's just something that's coming through. But no, I see a lot. Like life's becoming more meaningful. Like I feel like in the past... This feels like you guys either went through a big shadow period or possibly an ego death where there was a purge of the heart space because I feel before um, there were limits to how much you allowed things to mean to you, if that makes sense. And at times life, life may have looked a little grey, whereas now I feel like I'm painting everything with meaning, my heart's connected to everything. I'm doing everything with meaning, there's nothing that's stopping me in, in regards to doing that and I'm holding space for my own sensitivity. It's okay to feel this emotion and it's okay, you know, to feel the height of that and it, it's making me think of the fairies from Tinkerbell where one of them has like a paintbrush and she goes and paints all the grass green, you know what I mean? She's like, the one responsible for painting the grass green and then one of them I think sprinkles water it's making me think of that the fairies from Tinkerbell and I, I just see your energy kind of coming through like that you may be connected to the fae but I feel like I'm doing everything with meaning from my heart space and anything that would have stopped that before um I feel like that's kind of gone I think you've let go of it you pulled the splinters out and I think it's gonna make way for a lot of meaningful connections and maybe not just you know relationships and friendships this could be with pets you know what I mean this could be with um just even just things like doing your home out or clothes you wear or just things you do for fun there's just like a lot of meaning I feel like life has meaning and I'm connecting to it very deeply um so let's take a look at your oracle cards pile number uh two please spirit guides what are my pile number twos stepping out of what cycle am i pal number two stepping out of there's somebody you've let go of an aid for something new and i see you letting go of it in the sense of this isn't for me anymore i don't even want it anymore that's how it feels i feel like this does not align with me this doesn't speak to my heart i don't align with it maybe if some of you guys is a little bit of curiosity maybe if some of you guys is a little bit of a mental energy but for a lot of you I feel like there's someone or something that you were you really struggled to let go of you were still holding on to I see you like completely like I'm not interested it's it's not something that I want it does not align with me um and I see you letting it go and it's creating a refresh here um so we have hidden familiars allies natural assistance divine support and comfort it's funny that card comes out when I was saying about it may be animals you guys may be connecting to a little uh deep, well, let me put that down a bit um yeah it could be animals um like your own pets or just animals you know out in the world there may be like a stronger connection there some of you guys may even have a gift that breaks where you're able to connect to animals and know what they're saying i don't know what that gift is called i i long to have it <laughs> um but it's where people can like read animals like that and just know how they feel i don't know some of you guys never give the breaks in that in that way um or you may just feel connect just more connected you know um we also have balladonna visions caution guidance clarity and stand firm caution guidance clarity and stand firm yeah i feel like your heart is also feeling safe to sing because i think that you've worked on really setting in boundaries not just with other people but within yourself um to really analyze something and, and test that something's safe to open first um i'm thinking of those flowers that um when the sun comes out they open up and then when the sun goes they close off not in the sense of like oh you close off but it's like knowing where to put your energy i feel like you've learned that um and discernment you know um and then you have drawn down the moon divine feminine source channel stillness that's what you have at the back of the deck so i think you're just listening to your emotions a lot more i feel like you're listening to your heart i really do think for a lot of you guys in this lifetime your heart is your compass and i feel like you're learning to really channel channel and understand that which is really beautiful and i think you've stepped out of a cycle where you were taking less than what you deserved um and i think you're stepping out of a cycle where people might not have really seen you uh truly you know what i mean and, and really got you i think you're finding you know that that frequency and that energy of emotion if that makes sense um within yourself and within other people 
And I think as well you're making sense of emotions that in before were a bit chaotic to you. And in turn other people might start to understand it a little bit more. Um, that's what I'm being shown as well. Especially if somebody's hurting us and it triggers us. Sometimes we might not know how to relay that information in the best way because we're so triggered. And I feel like maybe you'll be able to explain it or explain certain feelings in a way that makes more sense. If that makes sense. Because sometimes we do that. We get triggered and then it's like we're not getting it out right. Yeah, I do that personally sometimes if, if I'm triggered by something I might not explain something the best um because I'm coming from a place of hurt you know and then once that trigger's gone it's like oh I, this is what I meant and I feel like th there may be something there about certain people or someone understanding something a bit better I don't know what that's about but it came through so I'll put that in there too um but yeah that's what I have for you guys I really hope that you enjoyed your reading thank you so much for um watching hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey part three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what cycle you are stepping out of um what cycle you have let go of moving on from um so you guys chose the hello kitty clip i'm gonna start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number three please spirit guides pile number three tap me into the collective of my pile number threes what cycle am i pile number three stepping out of what cycle am i pile number threes stepping out of we have the four of pentacles what cycle am i pile number threes stepping out of we have the four of swords we have the two of cups pile number three please spirit guides and we have death the back of the deck you have the hermit okay four of pentacles the four of swords i literally feel like i need to step into a side of a shell and keep myself safe i also feel like i don't understand maybe even what's going on inside of me so i feel like i need to spend time working that out um that's kind of like the past energy that i'm that i'm picking up i feel like you guys may have been um the pilots kind of been very introverted or kind of had to journey through life on your own a little bit um maybe you were building things up so maybe you guys just had like a focus in mind and you guys were really you know because i'm being shown like a star on the top of a christmas tree um so i feel like i'm really working on you know getting that up there and, and getting that sorted um it's making me think of like the shepherds and it was the shepherds wasn't it and they, they go after the star the north star was it the north star i'm sure it was the north star i need to brush up on that I'm not gonna lie um but yeah i feel like there's, there's a focus right but also with the hermit card being at the back of the deck i do feel like that's kind of within you know i feel like i'm really um because i feel like i'm 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 tying up loose ends i feel like i'm like tidying up in, inside of my energy i feel like i'm picking things to understand them there's kind of this no stone unturned sort of feeling that i feel where i'm really working on myself like inside of me is a bit of a workshop uh whereas the energy that, I'm, that i see you guys stepping into now it's like i'm ready to learn from other people i'm ready to get out there and learn from other people and understand other people and not only that just understand experiences like i've walked the i talked the talk now it's time for me to kind of walk the walk and i see like doors kind of open and i don't know why it's making me think of charlie and the chocolate factory when he decides to open his doors to like five you know uh kids to see which one was worthy like it sort of feels that way like i feel like i'm um starting to let people kind of like peek inside um and of course with that comes vulnerability because with that it's like there may be things that i thought i'd put mm -hmm. to bed that other people could trigger and that happens right in relationships and in friendships when we've been alone for a little while and we go back out connections can show us parts of ourselves that maybe we didn't even see and those parts of us can come out but it's part of the next step of the journey it's not meant to be it can be a little scary but we we grow when we evolve it's, it's a beautiful thing and i feel like you guys have been on your own for some for some time and i feel like you guys are now stepping out into the world because i feel like i'm learning to be a bit more extroverted i don't know why i also feel like i'm learning to like i know it sounds weird but like talk to people but what i mean by that is i'm learning to um like it's, it's reminding me of the scene from the office where michael always had his 
lunch in his office and after he um came back to work in you know the office after uh, after being away he'd been having his lunch with the co-workers Pam and Ryan and he says to, like in the confessional camera he's like I want to have lunch with these people like I want to you know kind of be around these people and there's that sort of feeling here like I feel like I, I kind of want to get out there I want to hear different opinions I want to see people's different perspectives I want to learn from other people I want to get out there I want to I also feel like I want to try new things and this could be so light in terms of like I always eat that tuna sandwich like when I go to get that food from you know the store I always pick it up let me try something different like I, I kind of feel like I want to try different things I want to try different flavors I want to try something different I want to I feel like I want to do some daredevil -y things or I really want to do things that I've held myself back with before I feel like before it was either like business like head down or it was like nope I'm just rigid and I don't want to get a bit loose right now. It's not what I want to do. Um, again, it could be like inner work and clearing and that, you know, you've got, you guys have been resting. It could be that as well. But I really feel like I want some change and I'm hearing grease lightning in my mind's eye. Like I want to shake things up. So it's making me think of like things that you may have held off on, that course, that class that you wanted to take. I really feel like I want to get out there and do it. I feel ready now. I feel like I'm I'm armoured up but I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm where I need to be. Like I've cooked enough and now it's time to put the icing on. I feel like I... I really want to kind of explore in that way that's honestly how I'm feeling um so with this energy again this doesn't just have to be I'm taking courses or whatever with the two of cups here we're looking at a mirror here so we're thinking of you know making new friends or you know dealing with new people or starting a new job and having new co-workers or you know get opening up to new relationships but what I'm also being shown is your perception of things trying something different you know what i mean maybe you've always been rigid in terms of a relationship must be like this or a friendship must be like this and maybe you're trying things out making things a bit more light-hearted or making things or maybe you've always been light-hearted now you're like no now i need something serious whichever one works for you it doesn't it you know it really doesn't matter whichever one aligns with you but because there's going to be such different things here but i just feel like i'm i'm shaking things up like i'm trying something different i'm trying something that is um you know uh kind of getting me out of my shell and, and, and tapping me into to those different flavors. Uh, I feel really open, to be honest with you. My energy feels very, very open. I feel like it's time. I feel like I'm getting out there. I feel like I'm... Some of you guys may have like a group of friends because I'm just being shown um, like some TikTok videos that I've seen where it's like that one friend who never comes out and never responds in the group chat and then they finally respond. And there's like funny memes of that. I don't know why I'm being shown that. So maybe some of you guys have like ghosted people a little bit or just being on your own or just not being interested in getting out there and being extroverted some of you guys may be choosing to do that you know and people are like oh my god they're out like i just because i don't know why i'm feeling this feeling of like oh my god i just saw pile number three like i just saw them like I, I don't know why i feel like that i don't know if you guys have really been like at home chilling out like not really interested um and i don't mean like oh i'm going clubbing every night you know for most of you you might not want to do that if you want to that's fine but for most of you it could just be being more extroverted getting out getting out and about town maybe going shopping and going and doing things where you're kind of seen i feel ready to be seen and i kind of feel like that's the energy you're stepping into it's like i'm ready to shake things up i'm ready to um I'm hearing that. I think it's Chris Jenner on there's lots of TikTok here. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok a lot, but there's this Chris Jenner sound and it's like I am sure she says Jesus. She's like, somebody tell Jesus that the bitch is back. Like I'm hearing that that sort of sound. So that's what, I, what I'm thinking of. I feel like I'm kind of like I'm getting out there. You know, I'm I'm kind of um I, I'm being seen more and I'm trying new things or I'm I'm being a bit more daredevil y or I'm um I'm saying that thing I wouldn't normally say because m my mindset's changed now and why not like I feel more colorful and you know let's go to this restaurant even though I'm used to going to the same restaurant all the time it's like no let's go to this one let's go here for food or like maybe like you, you don't like to drive outside of your hometown and it's like let's go on a road trip like I just see a lot of color there because I feel like I'm ready to kind of just like get out there like there's a feeling of trust in yourself and I think that's what's brought this on I feel like you really trust yourself there's also a feeling of understanding yourself more and I also think for some of you guys it's as simple as maybe you went through some things and you needed time to rest you needed time to pull back you needed time to recalibrate you needed to get things in order you needed to understand maybe what went on and and deal with that you know it could be as simple as that but either way I feel like you you know you really are coming out of your shell here and I, I do feel for some of you guys you know there's, there's open interconnections but for others of you from a whole it does more so feel like people are, I feel like people are seeing you because it's like oh they're out 
they're out they're, they're doing this they're doing that or they showed up to my house today or like oh my god they just replied in the group chat they actually want to come to the cinema you know it's it's that sort of thing like I feel um I feel like I'm getting out there I feel like I'm, I'm showing up um and I also feel like maybe even emotionally like people may never have seen you cry maybe you had that thing where it was like never show your weakness and now you're just like that was a beautiful bird and you're like crying you know what I mean like just letting it out and people are like oh my god they're really like open or maybe you were somebody that wasn't so tactile and you know maybe with your partners you might stop being a bit more tactile because it's something that you know you want and they're like oh my god they're being a bit more touchy feeler than usual like I, I just see that for you guys or maybe more funny and silly because I feel like a funny silly vibe is coming out I feel like I've been super serious and now I, I don't know why I'm being shown somebody dancing like doing the flamingo flamingo dance flamingo um i've seen somebody do that so there's a lot of joy and fun and um like openness here and like I, and, a, and a bit uh a willingness to be vulnerable uh because some of you guys I, i'm seeing like no i'm ready to be in a serious relationship now and then other of you guys i'm like i'm ready to be in a relationship and just let it flow like you know and i don't mean like oh i'm just something casual and that's something you want i just mean like i'm just open to let it flow like i'm just open i'm not worrying about the outcome i know sometimes people take that in the wrong way um but yeah I, ju I just feel like i'm i'm trying new scents i've always had this signature perfume and now i'm trying something sugary i always went for a woody smell like it could be that light you know um but i just see fun i feel like i'm i'm, I'm being a bit daredevil -y. i'm having fun it's making me think as well it's a lot of movies and tiktok references you might be very pop cultured this pile um princess diaries where uh what's her name what's the princess called What's the princess and princess diary called? Amelia. Um, Amelia takes her grandmother out. I think they live in like San Francisco and she has her like, she's obviously like a prim and proper like queen. And she has her like eat a corn dog and wrestle that kind of thing in the arcade place. Like, I almost feel like you're, you're allowing yourself to do that. You know what I mean? And, and try things out after just kind of maybe having to get serious. So just having a rest. Some of you guys honestly have just been resting. It's like I was going full pelt and I've just been... I've been enjoying my alone time but I see this is an urge this isn't so if you guys are watching this you're like I don't feel like that right now you may still be in the resting stage and that's fine this is something that's going to be kick-started by you and this is something that you're going to start getting curious with and it may start slow um maybe I want to do this maybe I want to do it and I think it's going to start to unravel from there so if you're not 100% feeling that way but you know like this is my pile but I, I don't know if I feel that way right now allow it to fold because it's you that's going to make that you know, I see it. This is meant to be about you. This is meant to be you going, boom, I'm jumping out of my shell. I'm going to head over here. I'm going to say that to this person. I'm going to go flirt with this person. Like little things like that, you know? I always wear muted colors. Now I'm going to wear yellow and pink, like, and green. Um, so we have herbal craft, regeneration, plant medicine, caretaker, bloomer. Yeah, I feel like you're blooming, but I do feel with the regeneration. For some of you guys maybe you've done some work so i'm looking at the crescent moon here in the window and now it's like it's time for me to pop out it's time for me to i've had my nap you know when you've been to sleep and like sometimes you're like no i need to go back to sleep that was not enough and then sometimes you wake up and it's like that was a well rest like i don't even want to lay in bed i'm ready for the day that's how you're feeling gonna be feeling it's like i'm ready for the day um we also have salamander uboros uroboros I always say that wrong. Creative work, infinite wisdom, and alchemy. A robot rush. Um, and then we have debate, rage, revolution, and um, attention. And I love that we have the yin yang because I think that's what's happening. I think that you've, on one side of the pendulum, I think you've outgrown your part, and I think you're learning from the other side. I think you've learned all you needed to know on one side, and now, you know, it's the other side. Uh, and then with creative work, I just feel like. I'm, I'm gaining inspiration from others like I'm, I feel like I've mirrored people have mirrored to me a lot like in terms of like my own energy and my own work and I feel like I've done that and I've been very self-focused and and just this triggered me so now I'm healing this and I've got to pull away whereas now I feel like I'm ready to go out there be vulnerable and, and think on my feet I'm ready to do it I'm ready to kind of like flee the nest um but I want to flee the nest I want to learn the different ways of doing things i want to hear other people's ways of doing things that's how this feels um so what you're letting go of i think for some of you guys it's just a resting period honestly i think it's as simple as that for others of you guys it's maybe just 
your own structures that you created a fort with which is fine because it was meant you were meant to for that moment but everything changes and i see you kind of like let me try it a different way so i feel like you're you're, you're kind of like letting go of the fort and trying things differently and if you guys have you know it could even be for some of you guys you had insecurities or you didn't feel comfortable showing vulnerabilities or getting out there in a certain way so you maybe crafted your own rule book to keep you safe and maybe you've been doing the inner work and that's what that rest period is maybe you've been doing the inner work to allow yourself to be a bit more flamboyant and out there um and that's allowed the chains to fall and now you're ready to do that so it, it could be that as well but either way i feel like there's an exciting more fast-paced time um and i feel there's when I say less structure, I feel like you're still going to have structure for what's needed to have structure with. But it's like, I think there's also going to be an openness and like, let me try this. Let me do this differently. I think there's going to be like an openness there, if that makes sense. So pile number three, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.